Um, I am unable to be online during our live learning slot today because I'll be at Drummond uh, High School. So I'm filming two videos for our literacy and for our numeracy today. Our literacy lesson today is spelling. Um, we are learning to use suffixes. And to be successful today, you can use the suffix able and able and understand the difference between the two. Suffix. When we add the suffix able and able to a word, we make it a word that's possible. Able is the most common suffix out of the two, and that usually means that something is living, it's still being used, it's something that's used to create words. But how do you know which one to use? So if you were to take able from a word, you'd be left with a complete word. So for example, the word renewable. If you take off A-B-L-E, the suffix, you end up with renew. If you move able from a word, you're not left with a complete word. For example, sensible. If you take off the I-B-L-E, you end up with sense, which is not a word and not to be confused with the word sense. There are some words that don't follow this rule. Can you think of them? I'd like you to pause the video now and have a think. Any words that if you take off I B L E would still be a key it uh, would still be a word. You're right. So digestible, you could take off the I B L E and end up with digest. Flexible, take off the suffix, you end up with flex. Suggestible, take off the I B L E and you'll end up with suggest. So whilst this is the most common way to tell which word, which ending to use, if you take off A, B, L, E, you should be left with a word that's a common word. Let's just remember that there are words that don't necessarily tie in. So, here's your first task. You're going to need to pause the video once I've finished speaking. Here are some adjectives. Changeable, noticeable, forcible, legible, reliable, horrible, adorable, responsible, and flexible. I want you to write down the definitions for the ones that you know. And then I want you to use a dictionary to find the definitions for the trickier ones. If you can, write a sentence using the trickier words. Pause the video now. Okay, let's see if you got the definitions right. Changeable. Something that's not likely to stay the same. Unstable, inconsistent, unreliable. Noticeable, easily seen or noticed, clear or apparent, noteworthy. Forcible, something that is done by force. It's vigorous and strong or forceful. Legible, usually um, relates to handwriting, making sure something is clear enough to read. Reliable, consistently good in quality or performance able to be trusted. Horrible, causing or likely to cause horror, shocking, something very unpleasant. Adorable, inspiring great affection or delight. Responsible, having an obligation to do something or having control over or care for someone as part of a job or role, causing something and being blamed or credited for it. They were responsible for doing that. And flexible, being capable of bending easily without breaking. And a person being able to change or adapt to different circumstances. And we're all being flexible right now through the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so where are you going today? Um, your I-B-L-E or A-B-L-E words are on the Literacy and English page, the support page. Um, and you can choose which chilli you would like. I appear to be missing three chilies at the end. So for one chilli... Um, complete, sorry, create a word search hiding all of your words. Choose two spelling activities from each spelling grid. Two, create a crossword for each spelling word. So a crossword, you're giving people clues for the word. You're not just hiding the word. Choose two spelling activities from the spelling activity grid. And for three chilies, use a thesaurus to find synonyms for each spelling word. Then create a crossword for each new spelling word. So it's a little bit different this week. When you create a crossword, you have to give clues for the word, not just telling people what the word should be. I've also set up your Sundog challenge, so you'll be able to go on and choose your chili choice.